Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Next stage, upstream. This is the stage where you go up the uh, river. I know so, because I tried this multiple times when I was a child. I remember this one. I made a lot of mistakes last time I did this. Come on. Usually, it's, you can't fall in the water because it's instant death, which is kind of difficult. Considering you're on very small platforms, and there we go. It doesn't look like it's very deep either, so I don't exactly understand how we can die. But, you know, naturally is a challenge, I guess. These log see crash is so big compared to all the rest of the stuff in the stage. This rock is like nothing. Okay. Up the waterfall. Checkpoint, thank you. Alright. There's some parts where you have to actually strategically jump and twirl at the same time in order to Oh man. These things Okay, if you're not careful they will So what I was saying is you have to strategically jump and spin at the same time because there's a fish that comes in front at the exact same time that the lily pad comes in front of you. I think there's gonna be one of those sections up later here. Those Venus flytraps, I think that's what you call them. They will eat you. What have I got? I think this is the part. No, I can make it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, those little dots again. What are they for? Somebody please tell me, because I have no clue. I guess they have something to do with those gems. The gym that I collected earlier, but when I was a kid, I don't think I ever actually collected any of those. Bonus! Again. Loading the bonus round. Okay, uh, this definitely looks more difficult. Oh, snap. Got it! Okay. There we go. And then there's my two extra lives. And save. Saving. Yeah, see, there's, there's little gems. There's 16 of them out of 32 stages, so there's one in every other stage, I guess. I don't know. I need to do my research. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot as a character, he's pretty cool, but I don't know what happened to him. After Crash... Bash, I think. I think that was the last game Naughty Dog did with Crash Bandicoot in it. Then it just went to other companies and it really sucked. Not like the character itself sucks, but the games just, you know. They got worse. Like, I played Crash of the Titans, and that has nothing to do with Crash Bandicoot, in my opinion. Stuck Crash Bandicoot's name on it. Anyway, here's the first boss. Papu Papu. Oh, snap. I already lost HP. It's been a while, so give me a little leeway here. You can see his butt crack. <laughs> I don't know why they had to do that, but I guess they did anyways, so whatever. So how do I hit this guy anyways? I'm supposed to spin him from behind or something? Jump on him? Oh, okay. Jump on him. There we go. And that's it! <laughs> Jeez, that's a high-pitched voice. Alright, I guess we beat the first boss already. That's quick. So, I'm debating whether I should end the video right here. You know what I shouldn't? I should keep going. Let's try anyway. Stage 
five or six or something. Man, I've already lost count. More Rolling Stones, more of the Piranha Plant thingies. Yes, I said Piranha Plant. Give me a break. I grew up with Mario, okay? That's my excuse. <laughs> the Rolling Stones are much bigger in this stage. They play a much larger role. In order to get across those, some of these places, you have to actually jump on the rolling platform. Rolling stone platform thing. Get across. Like, I think here's one section right here. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Yeah, here's one. Oh, shoot. Is there anything left? No, no, there's not. Goodbye. Checkpoint. Moving platforms! Oh my goodness. I'm so afraid. Alright, that's two of those. So like I was saying, Crash Bandicoot has a character, he's just kind of gone down the drain for me. The Game Boy Advance ones were okay, but they weren't great. It was kind of, you know... They were just kind of something I did when I had extra time. Not something I actually wanted to play. It was something I did, you know, when there was nothing else to do or play. And now the new ones are just awful. They're not even worth playing, in my opinion. Oh, man. There we go. I did it. <laughs> that section, anyway. Okay, up, uh, uh, there we go. I did it! I think. If I can get in through the little hole. There, there we go. I'll take those Mocha Fruit, thank you very much. Crash Team Racing was the last good Crash Bandicoot game that I could think of. Crash Bash was okay, but it was kind of like Mario Party, except for only had like five games instead of 60. So. That made me think I lost something. The the, the, the downplay on the keys or something. Okay. Wait, there's something down there. I can see, clearly see, that there's something down there when I'm on that platform. But I can't go down, I guess, because there's that blue thing. And I guess I have to have that blue thing. Whatever it is. Another one of those gems or something, I'm not sure. Okay, extra life. Stage is complete already. Again. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I don't remember those guys. I guess I will later. Alright, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. I will see you next time.